Hello and welcome back to Heather's Yard. It is early June and this video is going to introduce you to some of the flower types as well as inflorescent types that you might see. So this is my snowball bush. So this is where it gets its name. This is a the snowball. So this is a cluster of many individual flowers. So this is referred to as an inflorescence and it is the shape round, round like a baseball, round like a tennis ball, round in any dimension. It wouldn't matter where I would turn or move the camera, it would be round, okay? It's made up of many individual flowers. So we'll look, come over here and look at this older one where a lot of the individual flowers are starting to fall off. But when we do that, whoops, like that one fell off. I had one prepped, here we go. Okay, when we look at that individual flower, we can see that there are five petals. They are roughly the same size and shape and spread out pretty evenly. So we would classify the individual flower that you can see right now as a regular flower. I don't actually have any spikes blooming right now, so I ripped this one off of a sumac. So this one is had not flowered, but it's going to. And if you look at this, stalk-like structure. Let's see if I can prop it up here. Okay. From here to here, that is a spike inflorescence. It's wider at the base and it's going to narrow to a point. And once it starts to flower, it'll take on some color a little bit, but that's a many, many individual. If we were to zoom in here, we're going to see a bunch of individual flowers that are going to open. All right. Now we want to look for an irregular flower so we're gonna come I guess you don't have to look at the ground right so we're gonna come over here to my irises this is one of my favorite irises nice dark purple one and irises this particular one is not an irregular I thought it was when I walked up here but if we look we're gonna have three evenly spaced sized petals up and three coming down so that actually makes this a regular flower. If we look, we're going to see lots of examples of regular flowers. Five evenly spaced yellow petals. Over here we've got a geranium and if it's got all of the petals they are typically evenly spaced as well so we're still dealing with regular. We're just going to walk around because my go-to example of irregular was not what I was thinking. Oh, here's a good example, okay? We haven't done this one yet. This is an example of a composite flower. Composite meaning many smaller petals, so many that it would be a pain in the butt to count them. So many things in the aster family, like daisies, would be examples of composite flowers. And right next to that, one of the new ones I got this year, this is a great example of an irregular. So if we look, there are five petals, okay? So one, two, three, four, and five, but they are not evenly spaced. There's two at the top, two at the sides, and one at the bottom, and they're not all going to be exactly the same size. So this is a great example of a regular flower. So to recap, we have covered regular, irregular, and composite flowers. Okay. Here's another example of a regular, and we have colored covered two of the three inflorescent shapes. We covered um, round and we covered spike. Again, I don't, oh, I do have, great. See, it's a good thing I wander around my yard more often, okay? So this is a great example of a flat inflorescence. This whole thing, this is actually one inflorescence right here. There's another one next to it. So it's kind of circular at the top, but if we come down on the side view, you can see it flattens right out. And these individual flowers are really tiny, but we can see that most of those would be regular flowers if we zoomed in on them. Awesome, we managed to get all three inflorescences and all three flower types.